Now in this lesson we're doing some further work on addition and subtraction. We'll see some examples firstly. We're asked to simplify the following. 5a plus 3b minus 2a plus b. Well firstly we'll consider that b by itself there. As before, as a lesson before, we can say that that in fact is 1b. We'll put the 1 there. That might help us out a little bit later on. Now, we can only collect like terms. So 5a, what we need to do firstly is to look, are there any other a terms? Well, there is. There's minus 2a. So at the moment, we have 5a minus 2a, and that equals 3a. So we've added and subtracted the a terms. Now, is there anything else? Yes, there is the b term. There's a plus 3b. And looking a bit further, we have plus 1b. So if we have plus 3b plus 1b, that is plus 4b. So our answer there is 3a plus 4b. Example 2. We have 6a squared minus 3a minus 2a squared. Well, we need to make sure that we're only collecting like terms. So we consider the first term, 6a squared. Are there any other a squared terms? Well, there is, and there is minus 2a squared. Notice I've shaded in the minus in front. That minus belongs to the 2a squared there. So we have 6a squared minus 2a squared. Well, so far that is 4a squared. But then we have this minus 3a, right? There's no other singular a terms to add, but we need to certainly write that down, minus 3a there. So our answer there is 4a squared minus 3a. Our third example, 3pq plus 2qp. Well, we have a pq and a qp. Now, we've got to work out, are these like terms? Are these like terms? Well, let's have a look at dealing with some numbers. If I said, what's 5 times 2? Okay, that equals 10. Now, that's pretty easy. What about 2 times 5? Well, that also equals 10. So what I'm illustrating there is that it doesn't matter what order we multiply two things in. We get the same answer. And it's the same with PQ and QP. It doesn't matter that they're in different orders. They are, in fact, the same term. So we can add them. 3PQ plus 2QP ends up being 5PQ. Our final example in this lesson. We have 10A minus 3X plus 7 plus X minus 4A plus 5. Okay, fairly long one. Let's just have a look. The plus x, firstly, before we do anything else, we can consider that as being 1x, okay, plus 1x. Now, from the start, 10a, we look to see if there are any other a terms. And looking through that, we see that minus 4a is like. So we have 10a minus 4a. So far, that is 6a. Now, it's a good idea with these more complicated ones, the longer ones, is we're going to cross out what we've just done. So, moving on to the next term, minus 3x. Are there any other x terms? Well, yes, there is. There it is, plus 1x. So, we have minus 3x plus 1x. That would be minus 2x. And as before, since we've added the x's now, let's cross them out. And it's fairly clear now to see what's left. We have a plus 7 and a plus 5. So 7 plus 5 is 12, so we write the plus 12 on the end. We can cross that out and we can see, in fact, that is it. Okay, there's no more to do in that question. So our final answer there is 6a minus 2x plus 12. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.